Gian Anobi can play. Sure. It is not a bad trade. He elevates them. To, he's all second team, all defensive player last year. What I'm saying is, this is the mecca. This is Madison Square Garden. This is New York City, baby. They can't get a star. The stars come to visit. We never have any. We ne do, do you realize a legitimate argument could be made that Stephen A. Smith is one of the big stars in New York? <laughs> you realize that? <laughs> That's there. a damn go shame. Well, Stephen A., the Knicks, they sat in eighth place in the East after New Year's Eve, the day before the Ananobi deal for the Knicks. And since then, New York's won five straight. They vaulted up to fourth in the conference. Are you still the biggest star? Are you buying the Knicks as a contender for the NBA Finals? No, I am not. But I am happy with what I have seen from them. OG and, OG and Anobi has been impressive. They have elevated defensively, obviously. We got to give credit where credit is due right now. In his five games, he's averaging 14 points or 55% shooting since the trade. Julius Randle is averaging five more points a game, leading them with 28.2 points per game. But I know the Knicks. And so here you are. You have elevated defensively, offensively with what you have. Have we forgotten Woj, Big Perk, Will Bond, what Julius Randle does when it comes to shooting them damn jump shots in the postseason when you got a best four or seven games to prepare for him, taking ill-advised shots, holding on to the damn basketball too much with Thibodeau not using Jalen Brunson as a number one primary option? We got to take all of these things into consideration. I love what I'm seeing from the New York Knicks. I said it when the trade happened. They're not worse, they're better. There's no doubt they're a good team. Are they one of the top four teams in the Eastern Conference? Yes. Right now, I say yes. Yes. I say yes. Not because of their record. Milwaukee's a problem defensively. Milwaukee's a problem defensively. Philly's a problem with their depth. And I'm looking at Miami, who I never underestimate. No. But the bottom line is the New York Knicks are one of the top four teams in the East. If the Knicks can I like get, their chances to, third, to get to the third, if they can get to third, and it's the avoid question. Boston. Avoid Boston. Yes, and, and you get Milwaukee in the second go. round. And Milwaukee, That's look, right. there's a lot of time. But they look discombobulated now. Yeah. And they have not recovered at all from the absence of Drew Holiday. And some good news for the Knicks. I'm told Mitchell Robinson, who had ankle, sur ankle surgery uh, last month, there's optimism, almost an expectation that he's going to be back before the regular season is over. And so you look at the way Isaiah Hartenstein has played in his absence. Mm -hmm. And Robinson, one of the best defensive centers in the league, leading the league in offensive rebounds when he went out this season uh, there, there's optimism. He's back. He's there for the Knicks in the playoffs. And that certainly makes this an even more for, formidable Look team. Yeah. It's almost like a trade deadline pickup. And, and guess what? He'll come in as a reserve, right? Because I will leave Hardenstein in the starting lineup for what he brings to the table. The Knicks are the second best team in the Eastern Conference right now. It's the Boston Celtics and then the, and the New York Knicks. They will, the New York Knicks right now, since they made that trade, they will beat the Philadelphia 76ers and the Milwaukee Bucks. They're the one team that physically matches up with Embiid in the front court in a way some others don't. Stop it, Walsh. Physically, yes, but skill-wise, it's a no. different stratosphere. They wouldn't do anything against Embiid, but I will say this to you. I'm willing to concede that's possible, but again, none of y'all have addressed what we have religiously seen from the Knicks with Julius Randle in the post. I root for Julius Randle. I appreciate the effort. Iron Man, before he got hurt the last five games season, this brother played the first 77 games. Got mad love for Julius Randle. But you, it's Southport Central at Madison Square Garden. And going left, come playoff time, can I rely on him to look the way he looks now? Julius Randle spent uh, the offseason looking at a lot of tape of what he, how he played in the postseason, okay. how he played uh, in the later stretches. And you've seen a different player this year. He's been more efficient. This is a dangerous team. Like, the, 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 the parts may, the, the sum may be bigger than the parts. The way this group competes, the way they play together. Tom Thibodeau, to me, is a coach of the year candidate. Uh, this is a dangerous team if they stay healthy. It, it is. And then they have some dude named McBride. Right? Remember, look, you can fix your face. You, and I need you to fix your body language. But let me remind you. None of us on this panel last year thought that the Miami Heat was going to be representing the Eastern Conference. And they had some dude by the name of Caleb Martin that should have won, what's that, the Eastern... Uh, Eastern Conference Finals? Uh, uh, player, yeah, yeah, who should have won it, right? So it's right there. They got the culture.
They have the coaching in Tom Thibodeau. This Knicks team is serious. Score, they need one more score. I just, I, I just wonder, though, if, if, if we would see, awesome. if they do get all the way to the NBA Finals, a <laughs> oh, don't even, don't, don't sudden sweet. Don't tempt him. I know. Look at his face. When we see him, we saw the national championship no, game. Would no. we see this <laughs> is a That will be an indictment through? of the Celtics if yes, the Knicks it would. get to the yes, Finals. Yes, it would. But I'll be, listen, I'll be proud of the Knicks to get to the Conference Finals. I'll be proud of them to get to the conference. Fine. That's reasonable.